As we roll into December, a lot of organisations are getting excited to host their end of year events, which is a really nice time to get together as a team, connect, reflect on the wins and really to say thank you for the year that has been. There are three key areas that businesses and business leaders need to remember at this time. The first one is the CEO message. The second is centered around the celebration. And the third is around any office closures if they are applicable. A message from the CEO. This is a really important time of year to pause and demonstrate your thanks to the team and the wider business for all of their help and hard work throughout the year. That can come in many shapes and forms. It can be an email or an EDM, potentially a speech at your end of year function. Some organisations like to give small gifts as well. Anything that you can do to demonstrate your thanks and just take the time really to pause and show your appreciation. Number two, the celebration. This is an exciting time for most employees, but can be a concerning time for frontline leaders and HR professionals. The most important thing to remember when it comes to your celebration is the safety of your people. So um, have you set the expectations for conduct at the end of your event, particularly if alcohol is going to be served? Um, have you recently refreshed your employees on your company policies, your code of conduct and that kind of thing? Um, have you had to think about how your employees are going to get home if alcohol is being served? These are the things that it's good to think about, plan for and organise up front so that if anything were to happen during the event, um, your employees know how they're expected to behave and your frontline managers are empowered with the skills to respond effectively. And finally, office closures. Uh, not all businesses have a shutdown period between Christmas and the new year, but a lot do. So it's important that your team are really clear on that, what the dates are, what the expectations are in terms of their leave, um, whether they need to put in their leave applications, whether that will be processed automatically. And of course, your customers and clients need to be notified as well. And once you've got these three key areas covered, you can enjoy the rest of the year and look forward to what 2023 has to bring. Uh, the overarching theme is communication and policies. So if you need a hand drafting policies, uh, training your employees on them, or even just refreshing the ones that you've already got in place. We can absolutely help you with that. We'd also love to help with a comms plan from the CEO around end of year functions and office closures as well. So we will look forward to hearing from you.